Hi friends, it's Nancy. I thought I'd open with some of the journal that I'm making here. So um, I hope you all had a nice holiday weekend and I had a nice weekend and I am ready, so ready to get back because this is official Halloween season in case you're not aware. I'm here to tell you it is, okay? <laughs> so anyway, um, so where we left off was the folder and I, I was going to uh, put the pictures here, right? And, um, okay, so I went ahead and did a couple things. Now, um, I did put the pictures. I'm losing some things here. I'm trying to show you. I did pick pictures and put them on both sides here, as you can see. Let me get in there. And then, um, you know, wasn't thinking, I realized that this is just flopping open, both of them. So what I did was I um, tied, um, I poked um, a hole with a needle. I'm going to show you. I'm just going to do it. Um, and just made a tie here to hold those in there. I mean, this will still move, but it's okay. So all I did was in the seam here. I marked it, this is four inch, four inches, so I just, you know, marked a pencil hole there, and right where the crease is, I um, took some twine, and I poked it through with my needle, like that. Let me get my needle put over here. And then this way now, this will tie here. Um, that, and I'm okay with that. All right, so I won't tie it right now, but that was real easy to do that. And then, you know, I was going to put the the werewolf howling at the moon here like I did in the journal. I just love this so much. <laughs> it speaks for itself. Okay. Um, oh, I want to, I just am so excited. We're going to try to do this in one video, but if not, um, we might do the decorating of the pictures first and then we'll and then I've got the angel and I'll show you what else I came up with so in the meantime I told you I was going to get my um some floral dyes out and stems out and I was just gonna play with some of those and um Amy's uh, haunted dyes uh the laser cut things that she has in her shop okay and I just wanted to dress up each little picture just to have something else to look at so, um, for instance, on this ghost here, I just had one of my uh, Tim Holtz, the smallest bat. I just glued a bat on there. And then when we go in here now, this little witch girl here, what was I going to put here? I have everything kind of laid out. Um, I think I was going to give her a spider and, a, and one of these cats. And this is from Amy's um, laser cuts from last year, but... I'm sure it, uh, she would do those again um, if you're interested. She should, this was Cats, Bats, and Hats, I think. And the spider, I don't know if the spider came with it or was in one of her other die cuts, but I'm sure she'll be doing more of those. So I was thinking of putting a spider hanging down here somewhere, and I was going to put this cat like here. I wanted to see if I had a piece of like a bright orange piece of paper, which I forgot to get. So let me see if I can get a piece here while I am in my craft room here. Hold on. I'm going to get a little piece. I have this bright green scrap and I always like to put it behind the cat eyes. See? Just a little piece of green, and because the cat eyes are open, I can do that. Let's see how this works, if I can do it. You don't have to, but I just want to make them stand out. So I'm just going to take my glue and glue this little bit of paper over the eyes. So I was just like, some some will get a die cut, some will get, um, I don't know, I just wanted to see what I could come up with to dress the, the pictures up instead of just having them plain. 
So let's see if you can see the eyes. I mean, you will. They're not that big, the eyes, but I kind of like them. So anyway, I thought, oh, I just dropped my kitty. Hold on. There he is. So let me just start gluing some of these on. I want to get to the angel and what I'm doing with the folder. Now, I did sew the folder in with a three-hole pamphlet stitch right down the middle, just like you sew a signature in a journal. So it's, it's the same thing. I didn't do anything different um, to put that in there, okay? Let me just get this cat here. So I'm going to get the cat here. I don't know if you could see the green eyes on the screen, but they do pop up. And then the spider I'm going to have hanging down, if I can hold on to them. It's a good thing to have tweezers to help glue these tiny little pieces on. I'm almost done with this journal. Just a little bit more. And I am moving on to probably another one or something like it. I have quite a few ideas. So let's see, I'm gonna put this spider right here. And then I'm just gonna draw a line with a black pen if I had a black pen, but I don't have it with me. Can I use, can I use my brown pen? No, wait, let me reach in my, my bag here, I might be able to, let me see, I think I have a thin black one in here. You know, as prepared as you want to get for videos, yeah, this is good. Um, and you know what I'm going to do? Use my ruler, and when I make a line for the, for this, I don't press all the way down, I just kind of go kind of haphazardly like that. So it's not really a straight line with a ruler, but it kind of guides me so I don't, you know, screw it up. Okay, so she's got a spider and her cat. This guy here, oh, I better get that pen back out. He's got all that behind him, and I put pencil marks because it looks like ghosts are surrounding him. So let me get this back out. Oh, wrong one. I have all different size pens here, so I might as well just leave them out. Okay, so I'm just going to go over my pencil marks and put those in. Looks like ghosts are forming by him, doesn't it? I love that. Okay, and then um, these are not Tim Holtz uh, floral dies. This I used to be Stampin' Up! Demonstrator, so they had a meadow dies or whatever, but think of whatever, or freehand cut some things if you can. And I just thought I would give him a, something here. So I'm going to just kind of, and I just kind of did some neutral colors. Nothing fancy. But I just wanted to put something here. Um, let's see if I do that too. I could. I don't want to take too long, but I just want to give you some ideas of um, what, you know, just to dress up the pictures, because I like the idea of what that I put the pictures, the like the family photo album in here, but I felt it just needed something else. It was just kind of boring. So by adding just little elements, um, yeah, I think it, it, it kind of adds something else to look at and um, some dimension. I think so. I'll just put that there like that. Cut that. <clears throat> so I haven't started oh, I haven't started Amy's um new challenge, her 50 stack challenge. I I'm already so far behind, so I'm trying to do um Junk Journal July, which I am, but I'm only posting on my Instagram because it's just too much. I can't 
I can't do everything, you know, but I'm doing it. It's a small little journal. It's only a three by five, but to do it on uh, Instagram is fine for me. And then I did also post on Instagram Joey's uh, Joey Cardmaker hashtag. He's got a freebie every month. He started this month with Purple Passion on his Kofi. And um, check him out. He, he put together a beautiful free kit. And I did make a bunch of ephemera with it. And I posted that on my uh, Instagram. My Instagram's always listed below, as well as my Etsy shop. So she's got the cat, the spider. He's got ghosts and a little bit of uh, whatever. Okay. And then this guy here. Um, I could make that a ghost coming up, but I wanted to just put maybe something like this here. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Something like that, just to add something, because I don't know what else to put on there. I was going through my my um die cuts from amy and seeing what you know what was the right size that i could fit on here that would you know give something else to look at so i i think i accomplished that so i just want to show you and give you some ideas and yeah i'm not sure i mean i have ideas of what i want to start next i want to make I have some, uh, I don't know, should I put that there or here? I think I'm going to make that a ghost, and I'm going to put that here by him here. Is that okay? And then I'll get my pen. We'll have like a ghost coming up there. Like that. Okay, so we have him done. He's done. She's done. The ghost is done. Now we flip it this way. Okay, this guy. Okay, Amy had these cool skulls. And he's got this little thing here with the... So I thought I would put that, glue that on there. I wish it was a tiny bit smaller, but you know what? It's going to be just fine. I'm okay with it. All right, so I'm going to put like that's coming out of the whatever this is he's holding, he's got over here. Okay, so that's that. This boy here, I put a bat. He's got a little ghost bat, it looks like, and Amy has these cute pumpkins here, and I thought I could put one here. On this side boy this is gonna be um you know what I saw somebody do a trick with glue to glue stuff like this and if you know who it is let me know put it on your skin <laughs> the glue <laughs> and then and then you kind of roll it through there look just like oh I already got some on there but that's okay and then you just take it off and then it, it has like a nice thin layer of glue on there. And then you could just wash your hand later. Let's see how that goes. I don't know who I saw do that. And I thought, well, that's kind of clever. I mean, that worked really fast, didn't it? Okay, so there's that. So he's got his thing going on. Okay. I know I just got this a little sticky, though. So let me put, I want to put just a little piece of something um because the glue came through it's so tiny and i feel it's sticky here i'm just gonna put one of these here and just put that little thing there so he's got all that going on he's got the skelly bat here nothing fancy she's got a cat and spider he's got some greens and ghosts and then he's got a ghost and that so like i said when that's done i just Tied this up like so. And you can just tie it in a bow. 
or if you have another idea, use your other idea. But if I can tie it on the screen, here. there we go. So there's one. It's not tied very good. I'm going to open it anyway. Okay, so then let me move you here. So then we've got that. Now her, I was going to give her, and I know you can't see it real well, but she's got her hands here. I was going to give her these flowers, and I tried to pick a cardstock that would pick up this bluey green in here to give it more pop. And I have this Tim Holtz. It's a crow. It's probably not going to show up much on her, on her, but I'm going to have it sitting on her, looking at her face there like that. So I thought that would be good. So I'm just going to give her those flowers. See, I could even... Um, Oh, see, it's so hard to hold these on. Hold these little pieces, isn't it? I have a hard time. It's very... <laughs> it's hard. Okay, so let's get this crow on first. Um, I think I'm holding it wrong. I need to get it that way. Let's see. I want to put it... I want... You'll see his beak right by her face. Like that. I don't know if you can really see it, but I am going to put these flowers now in her hands. Okay. I'll get some glue on here. And I thought this color, you know, I wanted to pick not just black and beiges and grays, just a little pop of color. I think it works all right. So, what else can I tell you? Hmm. Oh, if you if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I have a new edition. I went Halloween shopping with my daughters to see what stores out our way had some Halloween things. And at, there's a store called At Home. And uh, I bought a full-size Skelly. He's not, he wasn't expensive. He's not, you know, he's just kind of cheaply made, but... For what I would use him for, for decoration, he's fine. I'm going to put it sideways like this. Okay, so she's got a crow. I almost want to, but I don't, now that I'm thinking about it, I almost want to put a little color in there, that moon, but maybe not. We'll see. Um, I'm going to leave it for now. So she's got the crow. So yeah, his I named him Bruce. I don't even know why I named him Bruce. Don't know. So it just came to me and it stuck. I have one of Amy's ghouls here. And yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of putting him across there because he looks really creepy, that guy. And this guy looks creepy too. So I'm going to do that. This would be a good time to run it across my arm for these little tiny, tiny, tiny hands and stuff. But I will do my best. So I I had him sitting on the couch. I posed him, but then I put him away now because he's sitting in a chair in the basement right now because I, I can't. I can't look at him right now. I mean, I did for a couple days, but <laughs> I, I'm going to wait a little bit before he comes out fully, okay? So, just a little. Okay. All right, so let me get my glue cap on here. And if I have to break this, I'm going to try to get all these done. Um... But if my goal is to get all these decorated here, and then if I have to do another video with the angel and the inside of the folder, I will. But let's, I think that looks kind of nice like that. Now, this one, I didn't know what to do with her, and I hope I even remember what I have here to put. I think, did I have this for her? I might have. Just putting this out here. I'm not sure now what I had for her. Yeah, that could be what I had for her. Um, 
I have to look because I have a little bit more. Let's see if that's what I had for her, I think. Because then on this side, the only thing I did for the house was put the uh, moon. That was a die cut from Amy's kit, uh, her lasers. This one here. Wow. I wish I remember. I have more flowers here. I'm trying to remember what I put here. See, I knew I'd forget something. I think this little girl is going to have the green up here going this way because it kind of picks up that bluish green here. So I think I'm going to have that here. All right. I have more flowers on the side here. I'm just not sure where they go. But I know that's... I think that's the only thing I'm doing by her. Just this green here. I'm pretty sure. Oh, well. it's It really doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> All right. Let me try that glue trick again. Let's try that again. You want to see that again? <laughs> I, oh, my gosh. All right. Let me see how this works. You just kind of touch it. Maybe I need more glue. And then the thing is not to get it on top of your die cut. Only on. All right, let's see how this works. Okay. Okay. All right stuck I think I got it all down well that was easy okay um yeah boy I have more die cuts here and I'm not sure what I was doing with them hmm. maybe let's see I got that on her we need to do that did I want oh here I have this lady to do that's what I gotta do so I think one of these was for her. Let's see what we have here. Nope. Mm -mm. What was I going to do on her? This one? Something like that, maybe? I could. I could do that. That might work. Now, you know, I don't remember now what I had for her, so it's okay. It's not, doesn't matter. <laughs> I can hear you laughing out there. She's gluing her hand like that. I don't remember where I saw it. Somebody I watched like a long time ago did that, and I'm like, what are you doing? And then it's like, oh. I guess it works a lot easier to put it on these small uh, pieces like this. It is. Okay. Um, I have this tall one, too, I could do. No. No. I think I will do this one. Just put that on. Can't say that that's what I was doing, but it's gonna happen anyway. I really want to get to that my um, dimensional angel and what's inside the folder and show you. So let's see if I can get in there. I'm trying to get this done, and then what's nice about them? You can kind of bend them. They bend because they're so thin. Wow, that worked out real well. Okay. Um, so those are done. Oh, we got to do her yet. That lady's done. So we just have this lady here. And she's going to get some flowers too. I do have a bat here, the bigger bat. But I don't know if I want to put a bat there. It's kind of... I could just to add another bat... And then maybe I could just do, oh, I know. I think I was going to put this in her hand, maybe. No, it's kind of, see, she's really far away, so she's. Hmm. 
Maybe I was going to do that. Wow. Don't even remember what I was going to do with her. I guess put one of these here again. I could do that with a bat. I'm not thrilled about the bat size there. All right. Let's just start working on her. I'm going to cut this down like that. I don't know if I have enough glue on me here to do this. Let's see. I'm not really good at no, I don't I think I need more glue. A little more glue. <laughs> I hope I don't forget to wash this off. <laughs> or I'll be sticking. Stuff everything will be sticking to me. Okay, let's see how this goes. I could just make some things growing around her, I guess, since I have a couple of these. I'll make another one here, smaller. Like I'll cut this one. that's gonna stick let's just try it yep it's sticking fine um, I don't know kind of weird not exactly thrilled about it Maybe I'll just put this one gray one here. I'll look for, I'll have to cut a smaller bat. I'm gonna cut a smaller bat for her, for her page. But I will put this one down here. Okay, I'm not gluing my hand anymore. I don't, kind of weird. <laughs> but, but it does work though, with these little things. I guess I just not putting enough glue on my hand. Keep it going there, but this will be fine. Okay, so I'll just kind of put that there for now, and I will cut a smaller one of the littler bats and put it there. Okay, let's move on because I really want to see how much time are we, oh, we're already at about a half an hour, so. Okay, let's make sure all this is stuck real nice. Um, I'm just going to put a piece of paper here for now till I... So anyway, so this is how it would be. Oh, I just tied a little, a little knot at the end here because this will fray, this just twine. I just tied a little knot there so it doesn't fray past the knot. Okay, and then we can tie that up. it really if I make a longer video here um, we can get the file done the folder inside done hopefully but it's going to be a longer video and then just one more video for ephemera a couple pieces and that should be it okay so that's how that looks um, I like it so this can still flip open. You can see my awesome werewolf howling at the moon, which I love. But yet all these uh, folders, these pictures here, the family album, they have a little something on them, not just photos. So they're a little more interesting um, to look at, I think. So I like that. Okay, here's the folder. Remember I told you this was straight across and I thought maybe I would rip it, so I did. I decided to just rip it and I ripped it towards me to purposely get that effect. So I like that. Okay. Now, remember when I cut this out and 
I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to keep her wings. I really want to keep her wings. Um, so we can. It's going to work. So just like I told you, like I cut the haunted house and how I measured, it's. I told you it's the same way cutting the angel out, okay? All right, so then what I did was I lined it up where I wanted it to go. And once I got it lined up, see, I did sew it in with a three-hole pamphlet stitch. This is loose yet, but I'll show you what we're going to do here. Once I... Um, lined it up where I knew she would fold and I would not have to clip her wings. I traced, I lined it up here and here somewhere there. And by lining her up that way, which is not, I think the haunted house is more triangle shape, but this one, because I spread her out across the two pages when she folds, I, we don't have to clip her wings and I was so happy so once I got to where I wanted it I took a pencil and traced this corner and this corner here okay and then now I'm going to glue her on but I'm going to flip this around so I could see what I'm doing here and then I will show you how awesome she's going to be so I'm going to I have pencil you won't be able to see them but I have pencil marks here and here and here and here so I just need to line and I drew here you know traced here here and then the corners that's how I did that so I'm gonna put on our flap here I'm gonna fill this up with glue I'm so excited two pop-ups two pops pop-ups in this journal I love it you've got to try one at least one try one it's really easy. And if, and if it doesn't turn out right, you just print another one. Try it again. And this is full-size page. I didn't reduce it or change the size or anything, remember? Okay. So now I'm going to carefully take my time, and I'm going to look at my pencil marks here. And I'm going to carefully line up, taking my time. No hurry and butting up everything against the pencil. And I'm gonna hold it. And you wanna, you wanna sew your signature in um, before you glue this pop-up on. Um, you won't be able to sew with this in here. So sew your signature or your folder, whatever you're doing in, and then add your pop-up. Okay, let me just, I'm just going to hold this down and just, you have to be patient. You have to let it catch. Okay, we have to be patient. I want to show you and I want to play with it. <laughs> you know how I get. Okay, but we have to be patient. It's all going to be worth it. I'll wait till you see what I'm going to do down here. So I'm going to flip her back around. I'm going to flip her back around. Okay. OMG. Watch. I didn't have to clip her wings. I'm so excited because I really didn't want to clip her wings. And I know you're looking down. But let me tilt it and show you what it looks like. Can you see? Can you see her? Oh, it's so cool. So she's she's in the she's in the middle of the graveyard, right? So she's standing up in the graveyard. I'm just gonna press her down a little more here. I know I'm playing with her. I'm supposed to let her dry, but she will. She'll be fine. Okay, so I did make sure I'm in I did rip all this, right? All I did was took black cardstock and mimicked the the um, tombstones that are here, the tombstones, I mimic them and I wanted to continue on with tombstones here. So I just freehand. I didn't copy anything. I just looked at the tombstones and did them myself. Freehand. That's all I did. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. That's all I did. And I kind of 
am arranging them and then I'm going to highlight them with Tim Holtz Distress Silver Distress Crayon. So I'm going to show you. I just took black cardstock and drew it myself and I'm going to glue them in here but I had them arranged and I probably won't remember how I had them arranged now because you want some smaller than the other to make one you know something look uh, further away and close you know so something like that Okay, I think this one was tilt. I had this one tilted more. It doesn't matter, but first we're going to, I like them that they're black, but I need to give them a little highlight. I think that one was there. This one is here, something like that. First, so I'm just going like this one here. It's supposed to be at night. It's a silhouette of it. So I, as you can see, I just kind of went here and here, just real haphazardly. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same here. And um, you can use a silver pen. And then I just use my hand. I see I just do this just, just to give it some highlight. And I just kind of rub my hand around it. And that's just going to make them pop a little more. And then here... I'm just going to go around here. And then I think it looks good if you highlight one side. So everything is on the, like the moon would be shining. So the highlights are the same, are on the same size side. That's kind of what I'm going for. Okay, so something like that. So then they pop up a little more. And then this, the cross, I'm just going to do here, along here. Like that. Nothing fancy. Just let's see how that looks. So I want to put him in the middle. I thought this one could go here. Something like that. And then the smaller ones will make you realize that they're farther away. And they got to be crooked because they're old. Don't you think that looks good? I love that. Okay, so let me start gluing this side down. And then I think I'm just going to glue here and here because if you want to tuck something in here, you can. So I am going to first glue this one to here for now. Like that. And then I'll put some glue here on this one just to tack it for now. I'm going to take, take that one here, and then this one here. I'm just kind of attaching them together for now, like that. And then test it out. And then once you have it where you want it, like that. Okay, then I'm going to glue that down and... Let's get glue on here. And it, you might have another idea, a different idea, what to put in there. You could have, oh, you know what would be good too? I should have a one of those black ghouls floating out of here too. I'll have to see if I can find one. And see if that would look good but right now I'm I want to get this down here okay so now I'm gonna place this again see where I want it I'm gonna put it down right there and this is not glued down yet I'm gonna keep it there oops a little bit and just by highlighting 
haphazardly those tombstones. I like it. I do like it. Okay, so I'm not going to glue the sides yet on that. So let's work on this side here. So I'm just going to tack them down. Kind of wanted that one crooked like that. All right, so this one doesn't, let's see. This one gets tacked down here. And then this one gets tacked down here on this like that and that one kind of was freestanding right I want that little crooked and that one should go in the front let's see if I can move this one over a little more like that and that one goes in the front like that okay all right first we want to highlight it with the silver so i'm going to highlight like that and i might as well glue this one down while i have it in my hand Put that one there and then let's highlight this so i'm going to highlight the cross part of this this cross this part and down here doesn't have to be perfect it's just it makes them pop it makes them pop more let's see how that looks see how it just kind of and then when you look at it from where I'm looking at it um it it shimmers and it looks really really good and I just you know freehand but if you have like maybe you have a the Tim Holtz uh tombstone die which I was going to borrow from my friend. I did borrow it, but when I saw it had a million pieces to it, I gave it back. My friend, yeah, Chickley. I'm like, uh, no, I'm not doing that. Can't do it. Too much work. I don't have the patience. She is the queen of Tim Holtz putting together their, his, um, oh, got glue there. His, uh, dies there, so okay look i love it love it love it love it okay um i could go over this with silver i'm not sure yet i'm not gonna say yes to that yet i don't want to ruin it because then you can't take it off right let me see if i could reach for one of those black ghouls i know i'm taking up more time but um I have all my bags over here with all of Amy's, um, let's see if this is in here. Is there, no, that's not it. Wrong bag. This one? No, nope, that's the witches. Mm. Oh, hold on. I'm looking to see. I don't know. Well. I don't know. I don't know where it is because I have so many dies. But anyway, let me show you what it looks like if I can. Can you see? Let me see what it looks like in the camera here. Yes. Yes. Do you see how cool this is? Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it so much. I love it. I hope you love it too. And then see how nice it closes. And then even though these open up, it's fine. I love it. And it's and um, 
I still, I the only thing on the back cover I did was this. I'm, I'm not sure if I'll put anything here. What I'm thinking is writing a quote or something on the back here. But um, this is turning out, look, so nice. And then, and then, I'll give you a sneak peek. I still haven't put the topper on yet. But that topper's going on there. <laughs> so, okay, I don't want to take up any more time. Um, I thought you want to see it again. <laughs> okay, but do you see how the light catches? Oh, it looks so good, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to look for the ghoul. I'm going to see if I need it, but I'm going to say maybe it, I don't need it. And then I'm probably going to just glue here and here. Not here, because you could always tuck something in there if you want, okay? And we didn't have to clip her wings. And I absolutely love it. Love it so far. And um, we're going to, next video, we're going to just do some, a um, little bit of ephemera in here. And then a final flip through. And then a final flip through. That's it. Okay, friends. Thanks for hanging with me. I hope you had a great time watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye.